Hello guys, this is Streets or is TV and welcome back to my channel. But we've all started the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel. Yans TV, Michael Aborita, Likap TV, and Abiyar, Devs Villa, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Darby POB, Yuga Koteko, Samot Sarin Blog, It's Mami Rose, Heart Ponsalan, and Patnon Blog. Okay guys, kumusta yung experience natin kahapon, no? Particularly those who went to their respective churches. Yung mga church kahapon may ginagawa. So ngayon medyo uh, pahinga tayo, no? For in preparation also for tomorrow's activity para sa Easter Sunday. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 to 25. This is about a call to persevere. Okay, so still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is simplified and maintain that talaga natin. No? Okay, the word of the Lord in Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 to 25 says, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain." That is his body. And since we have great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sense of heart in full assurance of faith, having our heart sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unservingly to the hope we possess. For we who promise is faithful, and for he who promised is faithful, and let us consider how we spur one another on towards love and good deed. Let us not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Amen and amen. I guess let's not pray. Yes, Lord God, we thank you to God for that inspiring uh, word na binigay mo sa amin, oh God. Yes, Lord, we need to leave its other in order to inspire its other also, Lord God. Lord, lalo-lalo na yung mga may problema na hindi kami mawalan ng hope, but instead, you are our hope, oh God. Napakaganda ng word mo, oh God, na sinabi mo. Let us consider how we spur one another on towards love and the good deeds. Yes, Lord God, teach us to do it with love. Yes, Lord, lead us as we study of your word. Be on our midst, O oh God, in this year we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, so our focus verse for this evening is found in Math, uh, Hebrews. Chapter 10 verses 19 to 22 ang haba, no? But we, I'll just, ano, a shortcut it. Since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by a new and living way, let us draw near to God. Amen. Let's really draw near to God. Okay, so the title of our devotional for this evening, guys, is Contained Up. As my flight reads crossing speed, the flight attendant pulled back the curtain that cordoned off first class, and I was given a startling reminder of the stark differences between areas on airplanes. Some travelers get to board first, enjoying premium seating with extra legroom and personalized service. The curtain was a humbling reminder of my separation from those perks. Exclusionary distinction between groups of people can be found throughout history, including, in a way, even God's temple in Jerusalem, though not due to one's ability to pay more. 
non-Jewish people were only allowed to worship in the altar court. Next came the woman's court, and even closer, an area designated for men. Finally, the Holy of Holies seen as the place where God uniquely revealed himself was concealed between a curtain and only accessible to one consecrated priest each year. But wonderfully, this separation no longer exists. Jesus has completely eliminated any barriers that might hinder anyone's uh, seeking access to God, even our sins, just as the temple curtain was turned into two at the moment of Christ's death. He crucified, his crucified body was turned over all obstruction to God's presence. There is no barrier that needs separate any believers from experiencing the glory and the love of the living God. Amen and amen. This case, no, ang ganda ng, ano, ng opportunity na binigay ni Lord. Kasi yung temple is divided into three, no? Uh, divided siya ng three. Like, for example, yeah, ito drawing ko na lang to. Uh, okay. Let's consider this as a temple. Three. This is the holy place. Holy place, no? Most holy place. And then, holy of holies. Okay, yan yung drawing ko. Dito guys, ang holy place, ang mga kaano dyan is, ang dami pang rituals na ano, uh, kortina lang yan, no? uh, rituals na gagawan dyan. So, you cannot enter the holy place not unless uh, your sins are all forgiven. no? And then, ang most holy place, all the more, very strict siya. And then, only the priest is allowed, no? Na makapasok doon sa Holy of Holies. Kaya, kortin ang ginagamit nila kasi pag may kasalanan yung tao na pumasok doon, hihilahin nila nila kasi patay ka talaga doon, no? Okay. Only the priest can enter into that tabernacle. While other people are asking for forgiveness, praising probably, kung ano yung magagawa nila hanggang sa makarating sila sa Holy of Holies. Very strict to si Lord. No? Very strict to si Lord. Kaya, nung namatay si Lord, the curtain was turned. No? Ito. Curtain na lang kasi ito. Tsaka ito. Napunit ito. Na at this time, we can now enter into the most holy place in the presence of God. No? Kaya nga eh, we can we can directly pray our concern to God because He's already there listening to us. It was an opportunity given to us by God na mamit natin siya sa Holy of Holies niya through our prayer. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. How does the truth that Christ's death provides access to God give you confidence when you worship and pray? Yes, I'm so confident na at the moment na kailangan ko siya is very much available. Because I could just praise and worship Him, pray directly unto Him, na wala ng channel-channel, hindi na dadaan sa iba. Because I could go direct to my God. True prayer, true praise and worship. And anything. Yung pagbabible study, Bible reading, no? meditation, and anything. Second question. What else does his death provide believers? Yung truth na he conquered death and sin. He is the only God among all other God na nabuhay. Yung ibang God, wala, patay lahat. Hmm. But he is the only God na nawala sa tomb dahil nga nag-resurrect siya, nabuhay muli. Kaya bukas, ganti yung celebration ng mga tao, especially dito sa Philippines, no, sa lugar natin, gabi yung preparation. Yung mga beach, mga resort, mga parks are uh, filled up with people because we are rejoicing. We will rejoice and be rejoicing because our God is risen tomorrow. Di ba guys? Saan may preparation din tayo for tomorrow's activity? 
Yung iba may mga Easter Sunday na no? uh, yung sunrise service. So yun, gagawin natin yan bukas. I guess that's not pray. God thank you for inspiring creativity in the authors of many books. I'm especially thankful for your book. Jesus, thank you for being willing to die to open up a full access to God, to all who long for it. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's rejoice because tomorrow, <laughs> celebration ng pagkabuhay ni Lord. Guys, sana na bless tayo sa devotional natin. Magali yung magpunta rito at may join sa devotional with the Rich TV. God bless us all guys because you know, God will surely bless us 10 times better. This again, Rich Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulat hanggang sa muli. Paalam!